Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got another review on the SBC flashback Stefan El Shara. We're going to be going through the card as detail stats, clips summary, as well as the SBC requirements and what you have to do to get your hands on him. Before we get into all of that, if I could ask you guys to please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you know when I upload a comment down below who you'd like me to review next. This one of course came from a comment which will pop up above my head and without further ado, let's get into the video. So guys, this is the team that I used flashback. Stefan El Sharawi in. I used him on the left side of that 4-2-3-1. Didn't really switch him about, guys. Didn't really move him into the camp or the striker spot. I found him most effective out on the wing. I really enjoyed using him there. And overall, guys, my first impressions of this card is it's a pretty good card. Um, it's a nice card to use. He's quite quick. He's reasonably good shooting, reasonably good passing. I don't know about the price, but obviously we'll go through the SPC requirements after this. We'll talk a little more through that in the summary as well. But overall, guys, I think this is a good card. Without further ado, though, let's get more into to the review. Stefan El Sharawi, 5'10, medium, medium work rate, is right footed, five star skill moves, and four star weak foot. So, guys, pretty decent in terms of the base stuff, except for those work rates. Those work rates really did feel a little worse than that. I actually thought his work rates felt medium low. He was very lazy to the ball and very slow moving as well when he didn't have the ball. When he did have the ball, of course, he was fantastic, but without the ball, he did struggle a little more. Five games played, four goals scored, and zero assists. Now, guys, I've been getting a lot of laggy gameplay recently, um, even with a wired connection. So, uh, a bit of a struggle there with my isp but overall guys i think it's still a pretty decent return i think it should have been higher the number of goals but again with the gameplay i was getting i was just struggling a lot to finish off chances um getting into the details guys we used 100 chemistry style on him just to boost that pace and that shooting he's got decent pace but i think taking it up to that next notch is fun as well and you could just go with a simple dead eye on him or an engine or something like that but i like the hunter the most especially to help that shooting out as well in terms of the attributes, guys, of course, the 92 acceleration, 94 swing speed is nice. And with that boost that you give it with the chemistry style, he just becomes that bit quicker. The 99 agility, guys, along with 93 dribbling and 90 balance is pretty good as well. 92 attack positioning as well and 85 short pass are all decent stats for this card guys I mean he does have pretty decent stats across the board in terms of creation the cons of this card guys uh, I would have liked his crossing to be a little higher it is 83 and I know this guy is more one where you on the left hand side you're cutting in and finishing chances I do feel like he was lacking a little bit there his shot power is a little low as well floats a little more than I would like so that therefore allows the keepers to save a lot of the chances that you get with this card and um, I feel like if there were uh, a little more power on those shots even more so than what's applied with the hunter if you use the chemistry which boosts that a little more i think you finish a lot more chances with this card otherwise guys i think this card's pretty well rounded especially for the value that you're getting out of it as well finally guys getting to the traits you get the finesse shot trait the flare trait and the speed dribble traits so all nice traits especially for cutting in from that left hand side and pinging them in with that right foot really nice traits to have there as well as some creative traits for you flare players out there especially with those five star skills now that we've gone through all of that we're going to get into some of the spc requirements that we have for him so guys, getting into some of Stefan El Sharawi's requirements. And guys, you need three squads for this card. Now, the first one is only a 13K squad, 14K squad, uh, 80 rated squad with 75 chemistry with one player from Milan. So a simple Serie A team will do this for you or any team with 80 rated players and a few lowers as well will do it for you. In terms of the next challenge, it costs 83K, one player from Italy, 84 rated squad, 70 chem. No informs required for this SPC as well, which I really like. Um, it's nice not to have to pick up an inform for this card. And the final one here, guys, uh, a Serie A player one and then 85 rated squad with 65 chemistry 138k so overall guys I think these SBCs are very well priced uh, for the or rather the whole price is very well done for what you get in this card we'll get more into that in the summary but overall I think the SBCs aren't too bad and you certainly can graft them out or use some of that high rated fodder on this card I do definitely think he's worth it more of that in the summary though and without further ado we're going to get into some of the clips that I got with him so guys getting into some of Stefan El Sharawi's clips and what you guys are going to see here for the most part is the use of that pace dribbling and shooting coming in from that left wing and creating chances in that way now guys of course I did only score four goals with him the gameplay was a little bad for me but overall guys I thought this card performed immensely well uh, considering what you're actually getting from this card the price point and everything else that's going on in the game right now I think this card is terrific value um, I did score a couple of goals off the rebounds as well from these chances this is one of them the other one was in a previous clip with Marco van Basten arriving on the edge of the box Overall, guys, I think his shooting is pretty decent. But as you guys can see, with a lot of the shots that I take with this card, I think he does float the shots a little more than I would like. Um, and so therefore, it gives the keeper a chance to get back in and save those shots. I think if he had a little more power on his shots, a lot of these would end up past the keeper as well. 
However, guys, as far as the base of the card goes, his pace, his dribbling, his shooting, all of that, I do really think that this card is fantastic. I do think the finesse shot trait really does play a big factor in how this card is able to play so well. You guys will see that with a number of the goals um, that he was able to score for me, uh, they were really great finishes. And in terms of just putting them, those kind of chances away on a consistent basis, I think that would just take time as well to get used to the play style. Of course, I only play five or so games with each card. So getting used to all their play styles is also different. Now guys, one thing I do want to say is I am not much of a skiller. That five-star skill is, is a big factor. But the other thing is that four-star refit. You guys are going to see a couple of finishes as well where I managed to take it on his left foot and create some nice chances or just put away some beautiful shots as well. Here, guys, again, I'm not paying attention to that keeper movement at the end there and should stick that away there with the left foot it is four star weak foot but it does feel almost like a five star he's got a very good weak foot on him and that allows you to put away chances very well this one here in particular i mean how accurate is this finish with the finesse shot into the far side beautiful finish in between the defender and the goalkeeper and over and over again it would just be playing it into that wing spot where he can take it on his left or cut in on his right and that's the thing as well guys is people don't know what foot you're going to take the shot on in these last couple of clips here guys you're going to see another great finish there and in this final one here you're going to see another lovely shot here that he creates from dribbling inside taking the man on and smashing it into the top corner so guys getting to this final stefan el sharawi summary 235 on the playstation 221 on the xbox and 264 on the pc Guys, we'll get more into the price and we'll check that out compared to other players as well shortly. But let's just get into some of the stats first. I think, of course, the pace is a big one. Uh, the agility and the balance fantastic as well as the dribbling. Um, and just in general, having those traits that he has does benefit him quite well as well. The attack positioning is lovely to have as well. I didn't really get a chance to use the volleys but it would have been nicer to have those. I think the short passing could be a little better. I think it's easy enough to link play up with him, especially if the players come close. But if they're a little further away, he does struggle with the passing a little more. Another con of this card, of course, guys, is that shot part, which I mentioned before. Uh, very floaty shots, as you guys will have seen in the clips. Now, he does have some very good shooting, luckily, so it does it is offset a little bit, but it is still a con for me overall. In terms of recommended chemistry style, guys, I would put something on that boosts his shooting first and foremost. Maybe a finisher would be the best one, as you guys can see then. Puts his finishing up to 99 with 93 shot power and eliminates that uh, thing that holds back his shooting. You could also hit a marksman to improve the long shots, improve the shot power reasonably well and therefore up the finishing too and that would really fix all elements of his shooting however that also does his dribbling you may wish to focus on something else such as the dead eye which will therefore affect his passing and his shooting as well whatever way you choose to mix this up guys maybe his pace doesn't need it for you for me i just thought might as well have it um the hunter did offer a little bit extra in terms of shooting as well but i think there's a number of ways to go with these chemistry styles and I'd love to hear what you guys think on that in terms of similar players guys now there is a good shout here for Yannick Carrasco. I think that's very fair. I think the Bamba card is a very similar shout as well. Rashford, a bit bigger for me. It's like maybe Carrasco as well. Maybe a bit bigger in that regard. I don't really feel like they're the same sort of player in terms of the physicality of them. I think El Sharawi is far less physical than those two players. He's much more slight, much more... Uh, he's a tall, slight player. So maybe more like the Bamba or uh, someone of that vein. Guys, finally... The last couple of things before we get into the final recommendation and the price comparison, you've of course got some perfect links to Lorenzo Pellegrini, Alessandro Florenzi as well. And it's nice having an Italian in an Italian league as well. He, of course, El Sharawi used to, has moved around all over the place, so it's nice to have that ability to be able to link him in to some nice players as well. Of course, when you go into the strong links, you've of course got players like Ciro Immobile, all the Italian icons, Fries Chiellini, uh, Lorenzo Insigne, Henrik Mkhitaryan's card, which doesn't actually have that many links. It's nice to have something now to link into him, um, as well as a whole bunch of other stuff there. Sandro Tonali's card, Bastoni's card, however you want to link this card in, there's plenty of options to do that. Finally, guys, we're going to get into my recommendation. Now, before we do that, we're going to look at the price here. Now, as you guys can see, Flashback Ribery there sitting just under a million coins. I think it's a very good card. I do not think it's worth it. Um, but if you're looking at this El Sharawi here, four star, five star, medium, medium work rates, very similar in terms of overall player. Um, Ribery, of course, short and lean El Sharawi, lean and taller, slightly heavier as well. But overall, guys, I think this card is terrific value. When you look at the next best card, which is Lorenzo Insigne or Laturo Martinez, I think comparing him to Insigne is a fair comparison. I think that overall, uh, El Sharawi offers everything that Insigne does. A slightly more pace, of course, and still offers a little more in terms of the shooting department as well. 
Uh, I think this El Sharawi is far better than that Insignia and therefore I would say that my final recommendation for this card guys is if you have the coins to do him and you have a way to link him into your team because please bear in mind guys that it's very important that if you have a way to link this guy into your team he's definitely worth it 100% and maybe you could use that Zambrotta at left back or even just link him in with some Italian players that of course that uh, Moments Tonali is a great way to link him in and do that Diogo Dallo very cheap as well right now to stick in at left back and you'll have a nice little triangle there to isolate off in your team um, it's an easy way to link the card in and I do 100% think it's worth it if you can afford him. Hope you guys did enjoy this review. If you did, please do smash that like button and until next time, I will see you all in a bit.